So uh, in our Monday night Zoom uh, Bible study, we're doing Nehemiah. And uh, going through the ninth chapter, there was some, you know, things that just the Lord stood out to me as I was reading. And one of those things just kind of aligned itself with the message that God gave to us on Sunday. Uh, just how faithful he is and how he carries us through things, even when things don't feel right, look right to us in the moment. But this uh, particular passage is a word of encouragement to us, and I want to read it to us in Nehemiah 9. And it starts in verse number 7. And what it tells us is, You are the Lord God who chose Abram and brought him from Ur of the Chaldeans and renamed him Abraham. When he had proved himself faithful, you made a covenant with him to give him and his descendants the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Jebusites, and Girgashites. And you have done what you promised, for you are always true to your word. Now, as we think about that and look at, listen to that, um, you know, I had talked about a little bit on Sunday how there are some life verses that God has just placed inside my soul that are common verses for people as Christians that we hold on to that are dear to us, that lead us through those things. And as we read this from Abram and we see that God, it was from Nehemiah, but about Abraham, that God is good to his word in every one of his promises, that is the thing, one of the things that helps to build up our faith and our trust in God in our everyday life. God is good to his word. He is good to his word and he will be good to his word for you and I in our life. And as we accept, put faith and trust in what he says to us, our lives will be impacted as a result of God being good to his word and us living true to God's word. So let's be a church. God bless you today.